Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Final Fantasy Bruce X's video, and today we're going to be talking about a whole bunch of things, including craziness with this banner, and there's also a vision card as usual, and we'll see how good it is. So, we have Clayum, who I'm pretty hyped about, but not really hyped about getting Shoyu when she was already on a banner recently, and also Divine Beast Chow is a, is a nice uh, attempt at if people didn't get him before, this is a nice try to get him at least, right? So, there is three new visions on a banner. Uh, and they have to like, why do they have to brag about like, oh, you can get 17 guaranteed. Five stars, by the way, five stars. Uh, so that's one to three. And then it, of course the other ones are not featured, guaranteed, not guaranteed, and things like that. And it's whatever, and uh, we're gonna skip on. So here's Cleom, and there's nothing here that's nothing from what we already saw from the stream, so not much to talk about, unfortunately. Uh, yep, and there's the vision card, which we'll be talking about very shortly, but he seems promising, but of course he's kind of limited to being locked to a rest humor since the dark vision katana is physical and not magical. Why couldn't she just been a physical GPS? I don't know, it's weird, but let's move on. Now the artwork or the sprite for this boss is now more finalized than, than in the stream. I'm assuming the one on the stream was like the level, like the early level ones, and this one's like the max one. So, okay. And, okay, we'll talk about this guy. So, uses fire, dark, and non elemental physical and magical attacks, boosts self as HP decreases, removes allies from battle after a certain number of turns, if not dealt damage. So of course you'd really want to do that because you don't want to lose out on an ally and heals itself. Okay, are we gonna be doing this all the time now? When, because we're so strong now that the boss has to heal himself? That's insane. We're just getting heal bosses in every, uh, every, every now. Every, every boss is gonna, just gonna heal himself now, I guess. And, oh, right, here's uh, the boost things that we talked about before. And it looks like not just those other ones are getting it. Uh, the red one is also getting it, but I don't think the red one's even good, in my opinion. And, oh, this doesn't get anything. Is that a, I don't know. Anyways, whatever. Anyways, the uh, stuff, I remember... <laughs> Now that the, I know why they didn't really mention any of the other ones, because the other ones are Cacteria and Yigni, so yikes. Oh, there's Fledgling Warrior there too, I suppose. Uh, but there are some interesting materials here, but definitely with the ones you wouldn't need to pick up. Uh, the resistances are very good, but you also stack, uh, not stackable, but you also be able to fill morale gauge when receiving a physical attack. So this will be very good on Sylvie, for example, if she's the one provoking, or whoever's provoking. Would be very nice to have this. This is a very these, both definitely get both of these. Both of them are very good, so very nice. And we got ourselves a happy new year. And this mystic uru is a very nice item here. When it's fully maxed, you're able to have these abilities here, which I mentioned before in, the, in my live stream video. These are actually very nice because you got to get rid of the Evo bar which most of you won't even be using most of the time, to use these abilities here. I think these are really nice abilities. So hopefully they'll continue doing something like this in the future. The other ones are okay. Nothing too crazy, just okay. And the bonuses, it's only one 300% bonus of clay ohm. And you get 200% if you pull these units. I'm surprised that Ling is actually a 200%. So most of you guys should have Ling. That's a 20% bonus for you guys. And anyone else, is, if you pull for the, any of the Final Fantasy VII units or Charlotte, you also get Sonon, he's a free unit, so you get a, if you've been grinding him out, you get a 150% bonus for free. Also, Yaka's down there, so, and the rest is just, you're not gonna use those. Those are five stars. All right, so here is um, Sephiroth's crowns. They're free, you just have to beat the event. And you get 150% amp after you beat these things. 
Uh, on this, this is what this is, 150% amp, very nice. And of course, as always, you should be getting those, that, that, that Masume, Masun, Masumas, I can't pronounce it. Um, <clears throat> so you can get that sword again. Everybody was wondering if you're going to be able to get it again. Yes, you can get it again. That's uh, very good. More story. So ten, you get a thousand lapis and things like that. So very nice. To help you out. And <clears throat> the only good thing about this card is that this uh, has morale, morale fill at the end there at that level 10, which is pretty nice. Now let's talk about this card. Now if the, we were judging based off of artwork, this would be getting a 10 out of 10. However, we don't judge based on artwork here on this channel. Um, but the artwork is very fire, it's very nice. I wish I could get like a wallpaper of that, but uh, it would be very stretched out. <clears throat> so, already the card is kind of okay. It's just in the okay because of the stats, 130 magic. It should be at least 140, 145. And obviously the other stats are only mediocre 88. I don't know what the 88 stands for, but I'm sure it's something that has something to do with the, the Chinese New Year of some kind. I don't, I don't know. Uh, and the HP is okay. The level one is just fine. The level two, on, on paper, this seems pretty good, but at the same time, if this is 250% killer, it's fine. But is I don't know if it's as good as the support giving it to you. Like a support wasting their turn to give you killers because now you're wasting a DPS turn to give yourself killers while not be able to do anything else because you can't multicast this. So you'd just be single casting this and that's it. So you have to set yourself up to use this. I don't think I don't know if that's I don't know if that's worth it. We'll have to see if that's worth it or not, but I'm not sure. Um It'd just be better if you could equip this on a support and then they could use it on you instead or something. Or support already had 250% killers and just giving you it anyways. And then the last one is just okay as well. A 500 flat magic is okay. And some killers. I don't think this is the I don't think this is like the best card of all time. From first glance. We'll have to see what that, that uh, second ability is, but still it's just in my opinion, I, I feel like it's just better for a support to, you know, multicast killers than your DPS wasting a turn single casting a killer for themselves. We'll have to see. If it, now if it's like, I, I really doubt it'd be like 300% killers, that'd be insane. Uh, if, it, if, if it is, that'd be, that would definitely be worth it, wasting a turn then. But uh, we'll have to see how it is. We'll just have to see the numbers and things like that. So there's that. And a reward that most of you guys probably will never see, unless they give them out, is a bonus present ticket. There are some en enhancements in here, some boosts on some rewards, but most of you probably never going to see this. So I don't really want to go too much into it, but there's more lapis in there and, and things. So, and you also get 10 select summon tickets when they don't matter anymore, but New Vision Awakenings, I suppose. All right, we're not going to go into Reno because he's a free unit. So we're just going to skip over him. But Sephiroth is getting his crowns, like I mentioned. He's getting a whole bunch of things, including more flat attack. And um, his Brave Shift LB is a lot stronger. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good upgrades for Sephiroth. Uh, he's definitely I mean, one of the top DPS in the game. Maybe not in Clash Rules, but outside of Clash Rules, definitely. And under under Dios's leader skill, he's gonna be very powerful. And I don't really don't understand. I, I guess this is kind of like a W for Global because now you can actually uh, check your shards twice instead of just once. So instead of it just being double shards, you can actually just check your shards twice. So that could be a W. That could definitely end up netting you way more shards than you'd ever really get normally. So definitely this, if you haven't really checked your shards before, now is the time to start doing the shard checking. And if you if you don't know how to do that, make one of your units a Brave Shift unit and in the, start in the Brave Shift form and then end the, end the battle. And then when they shift back, you, the menu thing pops up. So you're able to check what shards you've got. Of course, if it shows that you only have five, then you've only got one one for each, and that's not good enough. So you want to go at least to seven or eight. Most of you in the comment section said that you go up to eight, but I think I think seven's okay. And so you get more shards, you want to take advantage of this, put 
Make sure you're putting only only Univision units that you want or are investing in in this five uh, shard dungeon here. All right, so we have the exchange shop here. You can get clams fragments in here, so that's what you should be focusing on. There's also um, chow fragments in here, which is interesting. And the equipment in here is old as always. If you're a new player, do not focus on the equipment. It is very old equipment. And finally, I just wanted to mention the slugging. Uh, it starts out kind of average, but there's lapis in here and some tickets. So there's pretty pretty good login with this. I don't I don't I don't think this is everything, but it, I guess it is. There's a that you can't see at the end there. Sorry guys, it cut off. But the day 21 is a is a thousand lapis. So that's pretty good. <clears throat> Sorry guys, but my voice. I'm gonna get out of here. But let me know in the comment section down below what you think about Cleome. I'm pretty hyped about her, but we'll have to see how good she is. And the card itself is just okay. It's not super bonkers. And lately the cards haven't really been super bonkers, they've just been pretty good. Um, I guess they're trying to, I don't know whether, like these cards should be really strong to pull for. So, we'll see. Anyways, see you in the next video. Peace.